The absence of a functional legal framework in Afghanistan undermines the rule of law and access to justice for all individuals, but women in particular are at risk in this scenario, as the Taliban's interpretation of Islamic law often leads to such discriminatory ways that can be used against women. Adultery is the consensual sexual relations between two individuals who are not married to each other and one or the other is married to someone else. The definition of adultery varies in different jurisdictions and it is considered as a sin in almost all religions. Under Muslim law, adultery is defined as sexual intercourse by a person whether man or woman, with someone to whom they are not married. Adultery or extramarital sex is considered as the infringement of matrimonial bond, and is regarded as one of the foremost crimes condemned by Allah. In Religious Book of Muslims the Quran, Zina is an Arabic term used for premarital or extramarital relationship. The act of Zina is considered as the most heinous crime and people may be punished harshly for it. Quranic verses prohibiting adultery as said by Allah are, under Islamic laws in an Islamic state, it is not lawful to shed the blood of a Muslim, except for one of the three sins, a married person committing fornication, and in just retribution for premeditated murder, and for sin of treason involving a person renouncing Islam, and thus leaving the community, to join the enemy camp in order to wage war against the faithful. Adultery in Islam is one of the most atrocious and dreadful of all sins. Its horrendousness can be determined from the reality that it has been considered equivalent to the deadliest of crimes in Quran. Adultery is considered as an unforgivable crime, due to its calamitous consequence which affects the person involved, family unit and the society in general. It leads to betrayal and infringes the faith and harmony which is the basis for a satisfying family life. It fritters away the vigor. It knocks off balance. It deteriorates the purity of the character and obliterates the feelings of devotion and loyalty and consequently the individual has to face the fury of Allah and punishment in various forms. Brutal punishments are given to men and women who get involved in the sinful act of Zina. According to Islamic laws, for premarital sex, the chastisement is 100 lashes, while for adultery the adulterers are punished by stoning to death, which is also known as ridge more severe flogging. However, stoning as punishment for extramarital sex is not stated in Quran but is prescribed in Hadith. Although, Men are exceptional in this case and a married man sleeping with an unmarried woman is not considered adultery, but it becomes a crime if the woman involved is married and she practices extramarital relationship. In this case, punishment prescribed for her is no less than stoning to death. On March 24, 2024, the Taliban's Supreme Leader Hibachulak Undada said we will flog the women who are found guilty of adultery and we will also stone them to death in public. The audio statement, broadcast on Afghanistan state radio and television networks, appeared to be directed at the Western and democratic governments that frequently criticize Taliban policies. You may call it a violation of women's rights when we publicly stone or flog them for committing adultery because they conflict with your democratic principles. There are different perspectives on the history of stoning. Stoning is an actual punishment for adultery. The Taliban is not the only governing body that has endorsed stoning. In recent years, some countries have in recent years endorsed stoning as a punishment. Iran. Sudan and Nigeria, for example. Nigeria and Sudan, which both have Islamic law as a component of their justice system, have prescribed stoning as punishment for adultery and homosexuality in the last two years. Bibi Amena, a 25-year-old, Bibi was sentenced to death by local religious leaders in the Spingal Valley, in the isolated northeastern province of Badakhshan. Her crime was to be found in the company of a man she was not married to. 
After two days of investigation and community gatherings, the Shura Community Council passed the verdict. The boy she was found with was given 40 lashes and a woman killed. On April 25, 2005, Bibi Amena was executed by stoning. Everyone in the isolated, conservative village, including the Bibi Amena's parents, said she deserved to be killed. Mohammed Islam, father of the executed woman, Bibi Amena is in police custody charged with her murder, along with six other men. Bibi Amena was stoned to death right here, we buried her up to the chest and then they stoned her, she died after two hours, her father Azim continued nonchalantly, as he drew a circle around a pile of small stones in a nearby field. There were 70 people at the stoning, his father said he watched for a few minutes but then left. The killing was even endorsed by Amena mother. When the verdict was announced they came to consult me and I said, kill her she said, without emotion. I am proud and happy that she Amena was killed, because she undermined the honor of the village. But Amena's tragic end, battered to death by rocks and her body rolled unceremoniously into a shallow grave, has not even raised eyebrows in a community that has witnessed at least one other recent execution of a woman accused of adultery. Even though it's only 30 kilometers north of the provincial capital, Faisabad, most of the local people are illiterate and are beholden to religious leaders schooled in madrasas in neighboring Pakistan. In Faisabad 200 NATO-led international peacekeeping troops and hundreds of newly trained Afghan police are deployed. None of them were there to protect Bibi Amena from the traditional court that tried, sentenced and executed her. Constitutionally and under Afghan law, cases such as Amena's should have been heard in local courts with a qualified and experienced magistrate, but Kabul is still struggling to extend rule to the provinces like Badakhshan. This isolated province was one of the few that the fundamentalist Taliban, infamous for their public executions, were never able to conquer. Life is incredibly tough for women in this region in many ways. Maternal mortality levels are among the highest in the world. Thank you for watching Death Row.